Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day nine. So we continue our training on the Contacts applet today. We're gonna dive into database health score and then the actual contact card itself and all of the information and tabs that we have access to inside the contact card. So let's go into our Contacts applet. Second one down here on the left-hand side and we've got our contacts home screen. Let's go ahead and dive into any one of these contacts. We'll pick Miss Peggy Hill here, our fictional character. First thing on the screen you can see is that we've got Peggy's name, and just below that we have a contact health score. That contact health score is gonna go anywhere from zero to 100%, and it's a compilation of nine items Four of those items are gonna give you 20% each on your health score. So name, phone number, email, address. Those are sort of the big four. If you've got each of those items, you're gonna get yourself to 80%. If you're missing any one of those, then obviously you would subtract 20% from that health score. The five additional items that you need to get to a perfect health score, they're ranked at 4% each, and those would include some sort of social media profile, tags, lead source, birthday, and work information. So you can see with Peggy, we've got tags, we've got name, phone number, email, we've got address. So right there, we're at 84%, four of our big four, right? So that's 80%, we've got one four percenter here. If you come down, you can see we don't have lead source, so we're missing that one. We do have birthday, so we're good there. We don't have any sort of social, we don't have any company or title, so either one of these would work for work information. Right, so the only two that we have are tags and birthday. We're missing social media, we're missing lead source, we're missing work information. That's why we're at 88% for Peggy. On the actual contact card itself, you can see some additional information. We sort of went through this, the neighborhoods and suggested neighborhoods, we'll talk about that when we get inside the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. But at the top of this left-hand column, two things to point out. One, the pencil icon. Anytime you see a pencil icon inside command, that means you can edit something. In this case, it would be our contact. I can click on that and go back into that original contact modal that we talked about on day two, if I get any additional pieces of information. In addition, I can click on the three dots here, our little ellipses, and you can see that from the contact card itself, I can add a contact to a smart plan. I can change the account. If I have a team account, I can move this contact from personal to team or vice versa. That only applies if you actually have a team command account. Um, I can resubscribe someone. So this is if a contact actually unsubscribes from your emails and says, oops, I didn't mean to do that you can choose to resubscribe them. It will actually send one additional email saying, hey, are you sure you wanted to resubscribe? And the contact then does have to click yes, resubscribe. That'll get them back on your content. And then finally, you can archive. We'll talk about delete archive, um, I think tomorrow or the next day. So that's coming up soon. On the right-hand side of your screen, you've got additional information, six powerful tabs that all contain unique information about this contact and what we're doing with it. So the default tab is always gonna be your timeline. This is where you can see all of the things that have happened with this contact. Now, we just started this database a couple of weeks ago. So you can see right now, really all we have is the contact was created back on March 10th. It was automatically subscribed to the Rainy Street District neighborhood based upon the address that was put in. It was imported with a note, so we can see that. But if you'd had this contact for several months, several years, you would most likely have additional timeline-based items. Those timeline items could include any sort of notes on touches, right? Including notes, emails, calls, texts, meetings, or mails, anything involving client inquiry, anything involving client activity, and then any sort of administrative updates as well. All of these items would show up in the timeline, and you can see that you can filter by what you actually want to see at any given point. In addition to the timeline, if this contact is involved in an opportunity, we would see that underneath the opportunity tab. We'll get to that later on in the challenge, but there's three main types of opportunity. That's buy, sell, and lease. And we would see those opportunities listed here. If we had them on a smart plan, 
we could see those here. And you can see that in addition to using the three dots, we can actually add them to a smart plan from this tab. Next up, you've got tasks. If this contact was associated with any tasks, we would see those here, whether they'd been completed or coming soon. You can filter that, right? The ones that we need to do, the ones that we've actually completed, and then any that we've archived. We can actually create a task from the contact record. We'll get more into tasks next week. Uh, then we've got the notes tab. So here's our notes tab. You can see we imported this contact with this note. So good old fake Peggy Hill from the TV show. You guys know Hank Hill is the uh, husband. So she is the wife of Hank Hill and the mother of Bobby Hill. And then finally, we've got saved searches. This is your ability to actually create a, a series of emails that would go to your client with specific properties. We will get into safe searches a little bit later on in the challenge. So that's really it for today, guys. Keep an eye on your database health score. Um, as a reminder on your home screen, that is one of the uh, widgets that you have is your database health. It's the one that shows up first on my screen. Remember, you can customize those widgets. Uh, but here's my total database health score. And again, that's an average of all of the contacts that are in my database. If you're paying attention to this and you want to increase this, then you would go contact by contact, find out what of the nine missing pieces you have missing, and then do your best to fill in those additional pieces to up the individual contact score, such that your average then begins to increase as well. Guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day as always. I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon. Take care, guys.